So guys, uh, welcome again to the Academy. As you can see today, we are looking into a quick solution. And it's a request video if you are new to our channel. You can consider subscribing to this channel. We have been wonderful videos and even the channel where you can learn a lot of our science, weapon courses, and so on and so forth. And if you want to send a request video on this channel, you can write a mail to most the academy at gmail. Or you drop it under the comment section. Okay, I come across it. I pick it and then respond. Now, about the question of today, we have a diagram. As you can see, you can see the diagram clearly. I hope you can see the diagram. So, from the diagram, we have to actually find the value of x. What I'm going to be doing here is just a basic elementary understanding of a trigonometric formula that we have. Let me use the so calculator and also use the concept of the geometry. So if you are still suffering from understanding trigonometric geometry, you can search for the video under this channel and learn more on the topics. So let's start with the lessons of today, as you can see from here. Now looking at this, we have uh, let me just start so that we can actually finish work. So we have uh, let's start with the black. So let's say this is uh, the angle between these two triangles, the triangle one, we just considering different triangles, so let's reduce the size of this thing so that this can actually make more sense. So this is the second triangle in yellow, and let's consider this one to be a triangle. So I'm going to take it as a, let's say the angle here as a popular alphabet we use, alpha. Now we can take this one as a theta. Now from your knowledge of triangle and geometry, alpha is equals to 45, beta is also equals to 45, such angle is called uh, what we call alternate angles. Alternate angles are equal. So we can compute from my solution part. First part is uh, alpha plus uh, beta is equals to 45. I hope students get that degrees. So I would say that the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, I separated these two triangles. I mean the triangle one, triangle three. Then I'm going to use the concept of compound angle, which I believe is also available on this channel if you are a beginner and you understand what we're talking about. Now, from the theory of compound angle of tan, we say tan A plus B, but this time around is tan alpha plus beta equals to, remember, tan alpha plus tan beta. Everything divided by one minus tan alpha tan beta. I just want to use the simplest way. So this is the compound angle that connects or compound angle that connects target of two angles. So now I think it's kind of very simple. We just need to get tan alpha and tan beta. Remember so katua. So I can now say let's use a blue ink for understanding sake that from here we can say tan alpha. Here, I'm going to consider this triangle, as you can see. The triangle we're talking about is uh, alpha here. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 4. Adjacent is uh, 12. So, which I can break down to 1 over 3. Just doing this for us to get it. Then if I want to do the second one, this is the first triangle here. That is tan beta. This is the opposite. And this is the can see year to year is 12, this is a rectangle. Here is also 12. Here is also x. I hope you can see what I'm writing. So if we go by the second, we have tan beta or beta is equals to tan is opposite to this beta is x. And adjacent to the beta is nothing but 12. So I think with this method now, the person that asks for the solution of the video should be able to finish it. So all we just need is just to direct substitute that into the formula if we have So solving that directly, so we can say this, I guess then we have uh, tan alpha plus beta is tan 45, because alpha plus beta is 45. Tan 45 from trigonometry is one. I hope you guys know that. So I'm writing, I'm just substituting, so that is one equals to tan alpha is a uh, See, 1 over 3 plus uh, 
term beta is x over 12. We are dividing everything divided by 1 minus the multiplication of these two answers, tan alpha, 1 over 3 multiplied by x over 12. I hope students can see this, and uh, this is what we're talking about. So now it's time for us to finish this solution that we have made. And finishing this, if we cross multiply all before that, we can just continue with the blue ink here that uh, 1 equals to, I'll just cut it, LCM, just do the numerator first. The LCM of the numerator here is nothing but a 4. So I don't want to be writing too much of them because if you write too much of them, I'll be writing too much of them. I'll just cut it very simply. Everything here will give me that is 4 plus x over 12. After taking the LCM to be 12, I hope you get that. Divided by, as in I have 4 plus x over 12, divided by all over. I know if I multiply this, it will still be that. If I go with this, this is x over 36. Okay, 1 minus x over 36. So let me just leave this for you guys to see. I hope you can see that. So if I cross multiply, which is the last step I'm going to do to get the answer, remember the question asks you to look for x. So doing that, 1 multiplied by anything, capital is going to be that. Okay, so I can say 4 plus x. From here, we have a 4 plus x over 12 is equals to 1 minus x over 36, which I will write as 36. Or let's just have 1 minus x over 36. So it's very simple. You can go with your lifetimes. But to cut all these stories short, cross multiply and do your mathematics. This should be equals to 12 plus, uh, we'll just do it directly. You can try and confirm that it's 12 plus uh, 3x is equals to 36 minus x. So please, you can confirm that. Just go with your LCF. What I've done directly is just go 12 and 36, multiply through by 36, and we have something like this. So I'm reducing this one to the lowest one. I'm going to have an answer. I hope you can see this one. I'm not joking too much. So this is uh, 12. This is 3x minus 2. That's 2x equals 2. I'm going to have 4x. If I move this thing to the other side, so finally, I'm going to have 4x, let me just finish here, is equals to 24. That's 36 minus 12 is 24. S will now be equals to 24 over 4. And x answer is now equals to 6. So the answer to this, which I think is correct, is x equals to 6. And that gives the solution to the question we have before. So what I just suggest is just three methods. The first method is understanding the concept of peak and understanding the second set of geometry. So if you know these two things and you know the components, it will be very simple and what you can easily solve in a neat way like this. The other ways in which you can solve this and find your the same trick using your so or using your sign to also give you the answer. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to be part of this channel, you can just consider subscribing to this channel and other and other channels of Mosaic Academy. Maximum risk. I'll see you guys soon. You have a wonderful